So here again with Scott from Advanced Fitness Solutions, Clearwater Avenue in Kennewick. And Scott, what I wanted to work on today is the glutes. We kind of had a great butt when I was younger. Now I've got old lady saggy butt. So it's really important at this age, particularly, to really concentrate on those glutes, right? And I haven't done anything for a long time. So Scott's going to show me what to do. Where do we start? Okay, we're going to start on your back. It's imperative to train the glutes, not just from the aesthetic standpoint, but also right. from helping with uh, lower back issues. When the glutes are not working and not engaged, it can put a lot of uh, pressure on your lower back and cause you some problems here. So a lot of us, unfortunately, because we sit at our work, we suffer from what's called LA syndrome or glute amnesia for those that are, you know, want the edited version. I'll let you guys figure out what LA syndrome means. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting the glutes to wake up and, and fire. So what Faith is going to do is she's going to lift her toes up just slightly and she's going to emphasize pushing through her heels. And what she's going to do is she's going to raise her hips and her butt off the ground and just work on squeezing the glutes really, really tight. Ooh. When she's maximized the squeeze, she's gonna come down and touch, <laughs> and then she's gonna go back up. Now, she just cramped there slightly. If you're cramping, right that, here, means right that, here. That, that means that you're suffering from what's called- The lazy the, ass syndrome. That's I'll what it was, I'll what? I'll let her say it, that's what it is. She figured yeah, it out, great okay. job. So what will happen is, if your glutes are not firing as they should, you'll start cramping in the backside of the hamstring area. So, so making them fire, what is it that you do to make them fire? So just you just pucker butt, pucker butt, pucker butt. Yeah, butt. Pucker butt. butt. Okay. And if sometimes with some people, it might only be one or two repetitions that you can do and you just start adding to them. Okay. Ideally, what we want to try to see is a person gets about 12 to 15 of these with no cramping, just a, maybe a burning sensation in the backside. And then what we do is we proceed to a single leg and that becomes too easy what we'll do is a single leg. So I'm gonna have Faith demonstrate with her right leg up in the air. And what she's gonna do now is just, the emphasis is on one leg, makes it a little bit more challenging. So you can come down and touch and then right back up with it. Squeeze your glutes tight. Yeah, I really feel like my hamstrings. But you're, like not cramping, but you're not cramping. But you're not cramping. Not yeah. cramping, but. And that's fine. If you're feeling it in the hamstrings and the glutes, then that is absolutely fine. As long as it's not causing you to cramp, you're okay. I feel like I'm gonna have lopsided butt if I don't do this side. You gotta do both. Yeah, you don't wanna walk, you'll walk around in circles. <laughs> So you start with like 15 and then work up to like three sets so, of 15? Yeah, double leg about two to okay. uh, um, two to three sets of about 12 to 15 repetitions. As you're resting, incorporate some of the app stuff that we uh, we showed in the last uh, video and then go back to another set. Once you can do about 12 to 15, everything's feeling good, then you can proceed to the single leg. Okay, and then after the single leg, what happens? Okay, so after the single leg, we're no longer down on the ground. It's time oh, to get up. It's time and, to get up. Time right. to get up and move.